where your treasure is, there will your heart be also. God has hidden unlimited treasures in his word. Every time we open it, we can discover a new treasure or admire an old one. What will we find today? Let's dig in. Here's Carla Early with Treasure Hunt in the Word. When kids are little, especially before they can walk, they hold their hands up and cry to be picked up. They don't want to be separated from their mother, even for a minute. The writer of Psalm 28, David, comes to God with that same childlike attitude. I'm going to read verses 2 through 5. Hear the voice of my pleas for mercy when I cry to you for help, when I lift up my hands toward your most holy sanctuary. Do not drag me off with the wicked, with the workers of evil who speak peace with their neighbors, while evil is in their hearts. Give to them according to their work and according to the evil of their deeds. Give to them according to the work of their hands. Render them their due reward, because they do not regard the works of the Lord or the works of his hands. He will tear them down and build them up no more. David lifts up his hands to God, begging for help, for mercy, in a circumstance that he's gotten himself into and can't get himself out of without the Lord's help. Have you ever been at that point, holding your hands up to God, needing his love, comfort, security, and help? Feeling like a two-year-old in need of his father's strong, loving arms around him? Well, between verses 5 and 6, something changes. David hears from God. His circumstances are the same. But somehow, David has received assurance from God. His father has picked him up and is holding him. From this vantage point, all the fear and dread of his circumstances melt away, and David praises God. He says, Blessed be the Lord, for he has heard my voice and my pleas for mercy. The Lord is my strength and my shield. In him my heart trusts, and I am helped. My heart leaps for joy, and with my song I give thanks to him. The Lord is the strength of his people. He is the saving refuge of his anointed. O oh, save your people and bless your inheritance. Be their shepherd and carry them forever. We are his inheritance, his special possession, he says in other places. He loves us as we love our children only more. He picks us up and carries us like a parent would or like a shepherd does for a sheep who's too young to keep up or is wounded. He carries us in his arms, loving us, keeping us safe and comforted. From there, we can praise him. From there, we can announce to the world who our loving shepherd is. From there, we can say, like David did in verse 7, The Lord is my strength and my shield. In him my heart trusts and I am help. My heart leaps for joy, and with my song I give thanks to him. When you're in trouble, have a crisis, or just don't know what your next step should be, what do you do? Do you reach your arms up to your father? Or do you try to muddle through things on your own? When you have held your arms up to him, how has he lifted you up? What are some of your experiences with being in the arms of God? How has your perspective changed? I'd love to hear about it. You can contact me at treasurehuntintheword at gmail.com. I'm Carla Early. Thanks for listening. And remember, where your treasure is, there will your heart be also. Thank mm-hmm. you.